I just, I'm not doing what I thought I would be doing. I get nervous around important people so I don't have the confidence to move up at work. I've never been married. I feel like everyone around me is doing great things except me, Marcia said, a tear adding a glaze to her eye. Like who, Phoebe lowered his voice in understanding. Well, like Jeff, the CEO of our company. He's so smart and powerful. Or like Candace, that is one put together businesswoman. Or even Tim, my coworker. He's such a cool guy, nothing ever bothers him, Marcia yelled out, seething with jealousy and hurt because she felt she was none of these things. What do you like about being you? Phoebe asked. I don't know, Marcia thought, staring at the ground. Then she looked up and smiled. At least I'm not Joe, she said. Who is Joe? Joe is a weird little man that works with us. He just keeps to himself, doesn't talk to anyone, and smiles a strange smile at everyone. Phoebe sat up higher on his two front legs, revealing his rubbery white belly. What if I told you that you could look closer by actually being all three of those people that you mentioned you want to be? Marsha's eyes snapped from her hopeful haze to attention. Oh, yes. I'd want to be anyone but me. You have no idea how hard it is to be me. How could I be one of them, any of them, Marsha begged. Phoebe smiled. He moved up right next to her and rolled on his back. I want you to close your eyes, put your hand on my belly, and rub it. Then count to three. Marsha was apprehensive at first and then gently put her hand on the big, fat, green bullfrog's belly. It felt cold and wet, like a thick, slimy balloon. She rubbed in a circular motion. One, two, three. Here you go, Phoebe excited. Marsha opened her eyes and saw a pair of shiny black professional leather shoes. What are those shoes for, she asked. Put these on and close your eyes, Phoebe instructed. Go ahead, put them on, lay back and just close your eyes. You can trust me. Phoebe's wide frog mouth beamed a smile. She slipped her feet into the big leather shoes, lay back and closed her eyes. For a minute, nothing happened. And then, amazing images. Objects danced around her, floating in and out of each other, some turning into other shapes. Diamonds, laser beams, static, a beautiful dancing flow of color meeting action. It felt warm, curious, interesting, yet familiar to Marsha. Then she felt her whole body give way to gravity, and she was weightless, free falling into nothing for a time, the shapes and objects disappearing. She screamed and felt a great whoosh through her hair, and when she opened her eyes, she was Jeff, the company's smart and powerful CEO. While Marsha was Jeff, she stomped hard through the halls of work in his big leather shoes.